How to issue tokens with the right legal structure, part two. Hi, I'm Katie from Legal Nodes, and this is the second video in a five part series on the legal basics of token issuance. A reminder, this information is not legal advice. So we set the scene in our first video and you can go back and watch that to get a bigger picture. And in this video, we're gonna be asking to centralize or not to centralize. And what does it mean on the legal side of things? So to figure out the right strategy for setting up your legal structure for your token issuance, you've got to find the answers to these key questions. There are only four and let's go through them all. Number one, who will run the token minting protocol? Will it be the project team or the validators of the blockchain network? Number two, who will control the initial token minting, the additional release and the burning? Will it be the project team or a DAO? Number three, who is going to carry out the initial distribution of the pre-minted tokens? Will it be the project team or a smart contract? And lastly, number four, who will own and manage the treasury of tokens that will remain undistributed after the initial distribution? Will it be the project team or a DAO? Now, if any of your answers include validators, smart contracts, or a DAO, then we can assume that the minting and initial distribution of tokens will be structured in a decentralized manner. Now, as a result, the project team, or in the future, the DAO, might need to consider an option of registering something called a token foundation for the partial distribution of tokens in the future. It is also worth you analyzing the blockchain network where the tokens will be issued. And this will help you to find answers to the questions that we just covered. For example, the Cosmos blockchain works in such a way that tokens are often issued in a decentralized manner, while in Ethereum and Cardano, token issuance is very much often a centralized process. So the blockchain that you choose can very much dictate if you are going to centralize or decentralize your token issuance process. That's all for this video in the series. Stay tuned for more and you can always find additional video series on our socials. Just search for Legal Nodes and give us a follow to stay updated with the latest Web3 Legal Insights. Thanks and see you next time.